How's it going guys? Back with another update on the Solo Self-Bound Adventures. Still level 94, been dying a lot. My big goal for today has been trying to just like grind out. I, I did grind out another Cirrus, I just finished that. And I've also killed a Shaper, I'll show you what happened with those here in a minute. Um, but I've been trying to get these invitations for Watchstones. Um, I spent a lot of alts rolling for... I wanted increased chances for smugglers' cash, but I wound up getting 25% increased stack size of rogue markers found in the area for Lyra Arthane, which is great. They were camelot. I got a decent one. Plants harvested in areas have a 2.1% chance to give an additional crafting option. Uh, not the best, but um, I was I was lucky to get two like platinum watchstones, and then I got chromiums for the other two. Uh, I got 4% chance to drop a scarab up here. And then down here, items have a 48% chance to be increased chance to be influenced and 15% chance for um, essence monsters to have an additional essence. So that's what I got with that. Um, and then I'm going to throw you on to the end of my serious kill and show you what happened with Shaper. Um, hope you enjoy. Okay. Died twice. He's under 25%. First death was dumb. Second death I deserved. Really? There we go. Got some gloves. Nothing else here at all, is there? Sapphire ring. Okay, let's see what we got with the gloves. Alright. Quality. Then. Linked. Plus two socketed curse. And feeble. Do I do it again? That's really good. Just as is. Really, really good. Dang it, dude. <laughs> oh, crap. I gotta keep those. Oh, man. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get these Shaper boots. Got everything on. Um, don't need these reduced effect. I really need to just roll a bunch of flasks. For different reasons. But should be able to do this. Not too worried. I'm thinking the spell suppression is going to help with the shaper balls and things.
There's a lot more time to be able to deal damage to Shaper than Cirrus, so... Hopefully this goes better. We get a piety? Okay. This is fine, too. This fight only gets really bad when you add mods to it. <laughs> like here? Fine. I'll fight Malachi. Whatever. Throw him in the core map with some mods and it's it's a nightmare. Like always. And these hearts are getting hit by all my projectiles. The whole the whole ring that it goes off. Shredding the hearts. Which is a cool thing to know. Something I didn't know because I don't like I've ran the core map quite a while. Or even on this character for that matter. I might have done it on the other character. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Astral, 86. We'll take an 86 Astral and we'll take a 86 Volver Gallia. I don't need the quiver or the bow. Why not? I never really thought about before that fighting these extra bosses was an extra way to get 86 gear. I always thought this was kind of a waste of time. Didn't, don't know why it needed to be completed for Elder or for Shaper. But okay. I'll take free stuff. Hopefully the Frost Blink holds up fine against Shaper. I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't like being on top of the boss. I feel like when you get on top of the boss with this, um, projectile um, gets too far away from it. Bar Nostra. It's a better roll. Yes, it is a better roll. Take this Archon shield too. What do we got down here? Goddess. Scale boots. 86 boots can roll the 35% move speed. Like that. Alright. Final phase of Shaper. I've learned that I can tank his balls. They do like 2800 damage. Um, this beam is all damage over time. So... That is not mitigated by the Aegis or the Spell Suppression. Um, and the little like purple like explosions when you stand inside of Zena's Circle, which you'll see in a second here. Those also are spell damage that get mitigated by the Spell Suppression. And I can tank like one or two of those. Those balls. 
I do think there's elemental damage in those as well. So it's not like pure chaos like I thought it was going to be. Trying to save my flasks for later. So yeah, like it, it knocked me down, but it took down my entire Aegis. I haven't done much damage to him, but I haven't set myself up to ha like have a good shot at it either. Really? Maybe, I guess I was attacking, I didn't see him go for that at all. There was no voice line or anything. Huh. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Five, six, seven, eight. That's the wrong one. Boom. More flasks, I guess. Oh, no, I put one in. Stunned. Let's put all those balls right in the middle. Fortunate. Oh. Oh yay, I'm at face. Paper fights are fun. Alright, I gotta watch him this time so I don't get ganked again. Yeah, that's what I want. Flasks, and he dies, and I got the boots! Let's freaking go! Ejax, I want slink boots. I don't care about the Ejaxes. Onyx Amulet 89, I should probably grab that. Oh, how good is this rolled? 184. I think the one I grabbed is 191. Oh, there we go. There's Shaper. Now let's figure out what to do with these boots. Okay, so I got these boots colored. So Voidwalker boots, what these do, they give you phasing on kill. Um, and they allow your projectiles to pierce five additional targets while you have phasing. So right now, um, I'm not using the phasing flask. I don't want to, but my projectiles pierce three targets, this says. 
And that's because of what I got on the tree over here. So I got three pierces. And I've noticed that thicker packs of enemies, they will... I'll, I'll not be able to hit them all. Um, especially, like, I'm talking, like, ice doors and things. So when you get into those scenarios, I'm only piercing through enough of them, and then the projectile's gone, and I have to keep casting. But the idea here behind this is... Um... Like, this, these are only going to be for, like, mapping kind of things. And these aren't my endgame boots. Um, I need an Awakener Orb for those, though. Um, but being able to pierce eight targets will allow each projectile to get through tons of stuff. Um, that'll increase my clear ability on the build. Um, and help it further scale with some projectile speed, which would also be pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to throw those on. Now we need to account for the spell suppression. So my spell suppression is now 88%. So easy fix. I can take this back off my points and then put this plus 10% chance to suppress if your boots, helmet, and gloves have evasion. Get that back. Now we're at 98. 98. probably good enough alternatively I could could divine the gloves and get two off of that or I just roll with the 98 and I don't need I don't like I don't need this phasing when I'm fighting bosses I don't need this stuff 20% chance to avoid projectiles is going to be great for mapping as well. Especially with um, ranged physical attacks. It's going to be very helpful. So yeah. Big upgrade there. And then I don't have to keep farming Shaper right now. So, anything else that I found today? Finished off the Profane Proxy. It's garbage. Finished off the Queen of the Forest. It gave some flat evasion rating, but uh, if you get hit with spells, you get 30% reduced movement speed. Hinder. So if you're, you can avoid Hinder, this is a plus. Not completely useless. And then I, I identified this crazy amulet. T1 spell damage, life, fire res, strength. I could probably even like work this in and be part of replacing boots or not boots this belt um but i need a stygian vise and i've yet to see a stygian vise so that's kind of where things are sitting right now made the high hands of the high templar earlier um i still don't know if i should corrupt this again i feel like it's in a really good spot where it is so yeah I think I'm going to hold on to those for now as well. Still only one doctor. All this garbage is from yesterday too. So I guess next big thing I have to do is I need to run lab. And I do have, I have four tribute to the goddess. I don't know what those do. Um, nine offerings. I need, like, I have to get those done. Uh, maybe tomorrow I can run an Uber at Siri. I think I could do Uber at Siri fine. Um, but I also really want damage increase. I could, ideally, I, I could multi-mod this wand. If I could free up a suffix. I don't need the int. I don't need the accuracy. I could annul this. Get, like, multi-mod, black cold, and um, spell damage. It would cost three exalts and four chaos. And an annulment orb. I got three exalts. I got four chaos. And I have an annulment orb. But I don't have the craft. I haven't gotten a uh, future cloister yet. That's where you get the multi-mod craft. So I still need one of those. And I do think I might have... Good cards. Anything interesting in here? Not really. 
Professor. Yeah, I'm only one of four on the cards. So, yeah. I think that's where I'm going to end up. Um, this one, I'm going to keep farming. Like, I... There's so many things I want to do. Um, we'll see how these boots work out. And I'll show that off tomorrow if they're if it actually like it feels like it's helping anything. Um, but I'm really excited to try it out. And I don't have any phasing at all. So having phasing while I'm clearing maps is going to be fantastic. So hit the like button, subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow. Cheers.